Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get uh, custom crowd signs uh, or at least modded crowd signs in WW2K22. I'm going to show you how to make them and install them I guess if somebody makes an entire like AEW pack or like updated WWE one. So of course you're going to need uh, 1.14 or 1.15 cake tools. The ones that are out right now on the Patreon work fine, you could still use those. Um, and don't forget to install the UI fonts if you haven't already to understand the gibberish and cake tools. But really quickly, I also really want to say I apologize for like the two week break I took in tutorials. And I also know that I took down some tutorials, so I'll be updating them for 1.15 2K22, which they should still work the same, but just in case, you know, I'll have new ones up. But yeah, let's get right into it. So of course, you're going to make your way to Cake Tools, and then you're going to open the file. You're going to open the 0, zero Cake file, and then you're going to go to Audience. And you're going to find board, and then you're going to open that. And in this case, I think I'll modify 004. So you'll open that, open textures, go to B01, and then double click on uh, no01.txt. Double click it, and then you should have this, I guess. Or we'll do, which one's this one? 05. You're crazy. Most of these are generic boards, so like they'll replace the generic. Uh, textured or the, the generic boards in game so we're gonna use we we'll use this one you will use 06 yeah this one okay so you, once you double click on the uh, no 01.txt you're gonna press this one to download the actual image don't change the name just keep it like that and save it and if you don't have photoshop which i would recommend i'm not sure about paint.net but you could use photopea basically uh, photoshop but on your browser and it's free so I'll link it in the description below. Uh, go ahead and grab your uh, N0 or no dot, grab your freaking download and then drag and drop it. That way it's the same dimension uh, that you have it as. So that way you don't have to do any tweaking. Um, but just in case you don't want to, I guess the uh, dimension for the crowd signs is uh, 128 by 128 pixels. And I think I'm going to make a JAS like a Jericho Appreciation Society crowd sign, I guess. So, all right, so in this case, I'm going to make a Jericho Appreciation Society uh, sign. So I'm gonna grab like a logo or just anything that resembles their s a sign, I guess. And we're going to drag it down. It doesn't really matter like how the quality looks because crowd signs, it, it just doesn't matter. That's all you need to know. This is perfectly fine. At least to me, I guess, if you wanna use a higher quality photo, or if you ha are able to get one that's in like 120, I think it was 125 by 125 or whatever, then you can. But for me, I'm fine with this because we're not going to see much of the texture either way. Um, and we're going to export as, go to more, and then DDS, and then save it. Don't change the name. Oh, it's 128, my bad. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and actually customize the file so that we can add this in. So, of course, open two windows of File Explorer. And this one's the one that we changed. This is the new one. Go to 2K22 directory, go to underscore mods, make a new folder called audience with a capital A, click into that, make a new uh, folder called board with a capital B, click into that. And then for this one, we're replacing uh, 006. So we're gonna make a new folder in here. We're gonna call it 006. Then we're gonna click into there and then we're gonna make a new folder. We're gonna call it textures. And then we're going to click into here and then we're going to make the folder. What was it? You come over here. It's B01. So we're going to make this new folder. We're going to call it B01. And then we're going to click into here and then we're going to drag and drop our uh, picture into here. And then we're going to rename it. And then we're just going to delete the one. So it says no 01.dds. And then that should be good. You should have just replaced that. So now we're going to go back to cake tools, go to file, bake a folder, underscore mod, select folder, eight, okay. All right, so after waiting seven hours for your files to bake into the game, uh, go into your character, like creation, and then edit someone. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be using Chris Jericho, obviously. Go to personal information, go to crowd signs, and then boom, there it is. The Jericho Appreciation Society uh, board. I'm of course not going to use this one. I'm probably going to try to get a better one. Um, but this one works perfectly fine. I could go ahead and try to see if I could like get some video footage right now of it being used in the game. 
Uh, but like I said, sometimes there is like a chance that the board will be completely black rather than displaying something. I have no clue how to fix that because this uh, point of the modding is like very like untouched. It's pretty. I'm pretty sure that only like me and four other people in like the modding community on Discord that have talked about it and have like tried something with it. We got no clue what's going on, so it's gonna take a little bit more time to perfect it. But for now, that's how you do it. I'm not sure if there's gonna be changes to it or anything, but if there is, I will let you guys know as soon as I can. And again, I'm gonna be uh, re-uploading, or at least like I'm gonna be updating the uh, uh, Titantron like GFX videos, like on how to install them and everything. I'm gonna be updating those for 1.15. And it, I should also be making another one for the newest update that's going to drop for the whole damn pack DLC. And yeah, thank you guys so much for like 170 subscribers. We're very close to 200. I hope we get that. And I love you all. Don't forget to join the PWM Discord because I know a lot of you guys still uh, comment on my videos asking for help. And I like, I, I can't help everybody. I know a lot of you guys comment on the videos for help and I try to help out as many people as I can. But I can't help out every single person that comments. So if you do have questions about modding and you have no clue what you are doing, join the PWM Discord linked in the description. There are people there that will help you that are way more experienced than me. I'm just trying to share my knowledge on what I have. And yeah, I love every single one of you and I hope you guys have an amazing time modding the game. And I will see you guys in the next one.